Well, I fought really hard and I thought it was a good fight. I had a great opponent and if you think uh, it, uh, I lost, you should see the other guy. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm doing a swollen eye look. I'm using scar wax and I hope you enjoy this one. So without anything else, let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Today I'm using my own scar wax. If you would like to know how to make that, I will have a link in the description below. I'm adding a little bit of my foundation to the mix and getting that incorporated. Half of my face has that no makeup makeup look and the other half is clean. Going in with some spirit gum, I add this around the area that I know I'm going to push that scar wax into. Please be sure that you are taking caution when using adhesives around your eye. In order to make sure that I don't have clogged pores into the eyelash area, I'm using electrical tape just to keep my eye shut throughout the process. Placing my scar wax into the center of the eye, I gently push it to the edges with my finger where the area has the spirit gum. Gently pushing that in and taking a spatula with some Vaseline, I blend the edges into the skin for a seamless transition. When working with scar wax, you are going to want to make sure whether you're using your fingers or a tool to make sure that you dip that into Vaseline because you want your tools to glide and not rake into the scar wax. If you have no desire to make your own, I do have a video, Battle of the Scar Waxes. It pits Spirit Halloween and Makeup Revolutions scar wax against each other. So if you're interested to see what might work best for you, check out that video. I will link that also into the description below. With most of my edges being blended, I continue to move and manipulate the shape of the swollen eye by pushing into the scar wax a little bit more to get the bulk toward the center. Once I have everything as smooth as possible, I go in and make sure that the center is smooth as well. And once I have that achieved, I take the other end of my tool. You can use a toothpick. I make sure to place the slit of the eyelid into the center. I want to drag my tool across using Vaseline so that it does not pull. And you have to do this a few times. It will depend on how warm the scar wax is and what your environment is. Going in with a little bit of clear, dry liquid latex, I put that around the edges just to give it a little bit more security. To get rid of any excess oil, I'm using a setting powder. You can also use cornstarch or baby powder. Using castor oil sealant for Maron, I go over the scar wax. I did not like this brush. The bristles were stiff. The brush was bent, so it caused me to saturate my brush using more castor oil than what I needed. But you will need to let this dry for 10 to 20 minutes. And then once it is dry, go back in with some translucent powder to get rid of the shine. And with my alcohol paints, I'm going in and placing the brightest red to start into the slit of the eye. I go in with a thicker brush to make that bigger. On a sponge, I go in with my foundation to match the rest of my skin. Using blue eyeshadow, I place that into the corner on the outer side of the eye and up underneath the eye. I go back in with some alcohol paints, mixing red and purple, bright and dark reds into the mix. I wanted to show you that you can achieve this look. Also with just eyeshadow, you do not need alcohol paint for this. And carry the look over onto the eye for more bruising around the mouth and the chin. Using my sponge to get the color in and tapping my fingers for blending. Using some scab blood because I want the lips to look busted with 
injuries and had the nose look like it's been bleeding. This one is a little bit brighter. It's from Spirit Halloween. If you're interested in knowing how to make your own blood from edible stage gel, scab, and zombie blood, I do have a tutorial for that. I will link that below. Going in with my homemade scab blood because it's darker and it's a little bit easier to push through wax. I continue to carry this onto the inside of the nostrils to make it look darker and to let it set up as if the nose has been full of blood for a long time. Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun one to do. And if you'd like to see sneak peeks, behind the scenes footage, or vote on my next look, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Those links are below. And I will see you next time. Bye.